this video, we will showcase the step-by-step -step process of replacing a lock cylinder. The tools needed to complete this task are a number 2 Phillips head screwdriver and a 3 32nd inch Allen wrench or bit. To begin, locate and remove the four Phillips head screws located on the back cover of the lock housing. Once the screws are removed, the back cover will easily separate from the lock housing. Remove the housing from the door, guiding the lock tongue or hook to the slot in the door to avoid damaging the lock or door. Identify the top of the lock housing and find the two set screws located to the left and to the right of the lock cylinder. These set screws are accessed through ports located on each side of the lock housing. Loosen each set screw until it is no longer visible in the indented groove of the lock cylinder. You will notice a slight tension on the set screw once it is cleared. Remove the lock cylinder through the front of the housing. Place the new cylinder into the lock housing, taking note to have the Marks logo at the top of the lock above the key core. Keeping pressure on the cylinder from the front side of the lock housing, tighten the two cylinder set screws. The lock housing is now ready to be installed on the door. Insert the housing into the lock cutout of the door, ensuring the safe placement of the lock tongue or hook. When placing the back cover on the housing, align the thumb turn or lever with the fork inside the lock housing. The back cover will close flush to the lock housing when the alignment is completed. Replace the screws and tighten. Test the lock for proper function prior to closing the door. 